Joe. Okay, picking up where I left off yesterday. I think this is chapter two. There was a prologue and then there was the first proper chapter and now this. So yeah, I think this is technically chapter two, but it's the third level. Hunting the Zodiac still. And this time it looks like I'm in a school of some description. And I'm doing another... Uh, I need to find out, find the clues and set the chronology of the events that took place um, for another murder, basically. Text is not clear. It's engraved. What tool was used to engrave it? I can't even really read that. Sick of living, unwilling to die. Oh, I've, I picked that poem up already yesterday. Um, so I've read that. Okay, let's find some clues. Broken glass. Ah, someone come through the window. Did he escape or enter through a window? Well, the glass is on the inside, so he surely came in through the window. Is what my brain tells me there. Surely the glass would be on the outside if he was leaving. Now, this is another section whereby... The door is closed. Oh. I can't even open it. There's another section whereby the uh, Zodiac is hunting me as well. Which is why the music's quite intense right now. Because I think he's quite close. Right, key. Let's get this door open, shall we? Yeah, he's going to be out here somewhere. Ugh. There he is. Honestly. My comparison to something... Fuck off. Oh no! Give him the runaround. Give him the runaround! You bastard. Oh, That's not very nice. Well, he's shot me in the face. That didn't take long. Okay. <laughs> Let's try to get caught. Um, yeah, my comparison to games like Alien Isolation or Soma is the, is the closest thing I can compare this to. Obviously, except it's it's you know, a serial killer and not an alien or a monster. But I think, oh my god, look at him. I think fans of those games would really enjoy the content here. Oh god, look at him. I hate him. Let's see if I can sneak past. Oh, very tense. I think you can get this game on Switch as well. I have seen some. I can't go in there. I have seen some Switch write-ups that basically said that, you know, it's I should find another way to the library. It's not the way to play the game. Um, textures and things are a little, a little washed out. Hmm. Um, it's really nice I need on a PC. Coin to buy a drink. All right, so I need to find a coin. Do I? It's fine. Where is he? A little swelling up of violins is just puts me on edge just means he's nearby and coming to punch me oh there he is he seems to be quite sound sensitive so you've got a little sound bar on the bottom left and if you're running or making too much noise he does seem to react to that quite viciously I don't want to I don't want to crouch everywhere is the thing Right, that's just a loop. Let's open all these doors so that if he does chase me, I can at least loop around to find another way into that library. Whew. That's the library. So surely if I go down these stairs, that'll take me to where I need to be. Yeah, as soon as you run, the spikes on your noise um, bar are really high. So I'm trying not to run everywhere, even though my... The way I play most games is I sprint everywhere. But it's not the best idea here. Locked. Oh. Zodiac must have stolen the key to get inside. I should check the classrooms, the social rooms, the dean's office. Right, okay, so the library is somewhere I need to be. This is the um, girl who was just trying to return her library books when she was murdered. There he is. Right, long way back around. Um, yeah, they've mentioned a few of the murders I mean, in the early sections. And um, there was a lot of mention of uh, a girl. She just wanted to return her library books. 
So I'm assuming this is this is this one. Big bloody level to explore. Hopefully he's not down here. This this staircase is the only way into that bit. I don't know where he is at the moment. And I'm fine with that. Yeah, can't go in there. Can't go in there. He's over there. He's walking this way. I think I'm far enough of a way that it's not going to matter. No. Oh, God, where can I go? I hate that he just patrols the place. Oh! God, where am I supposed to go? Down here? This looks this looks promising. I can't go in any of these rooms. Right. This looks promising though. Right, here we go. What we got? Sorry, I could use it for something. Got a chisel, key. One of these might open the library. Cloakroom, library and a cafeteria key. Um happy with that. I'll take all of that. Thank you very much. Nothing else in there. This room is done. Oh, hello. Now I know how to help her. Oh, is he coming this way? Yep. Shit. Right, I think I'm far enough away now. That door is still being highlighted. Okay, I've got a couple of keys now, so I should be able to get into the library at the very least. Is he still coming? No, I've definitely given him the slip. Okay, go into the library. So I think I've got two clues so far. Um... Oh, okay, so I've got the window he broke into. And then I found a blanket as well. And that hasn't seemed to have added anything to my clues. I might have to go back and check that again. Because he interrupted me rudely by turning up and threatening to murder me. Okay, alright. Library is down here. I think I'm safe to sprint here. Because he, the only way he can come in is all the way on the other side. He, he can't come through these locked doors here. At least I'm, I'm pretty certain he can't. All right, let's get me library key out. Uh, That's how Sherry entered the library, with Zodiac stalking her outside. Bastard. Okay, none. Put that away. A new chronology event has been added. Yeah, Sherry enters the library and the, the Zodiac observes her, and I've got Zodiac breaks into the university. So I'm missing two pieces of this puzzle so far. He better not turn up in the library. I'll be so mad if he does. Right, that's the main way out. I'm not opening that just yet, in case he comes in. What have we got? Ah, coin. Right, I can use that in the drinks machine. This should be enough to buy a drink. It should be. It will be. Ah, what have we got here? Zodiac offered her a drink. Where'd he get it? From the drinks machine. You don't have a map in this game, so it's all about exploration. You need to just look around. Whoa. He looks right at me. Can he come in through there? No. Oh. Oh. All right. Can I get out through these doors now? No, they're, they're still locked. They will remain locked. Okay. What's the chisel for? What is the chisel for? Is the chisel the murder weapon? That seems excessive. Right, let's go and use the coin on the drinks machine. Um, get, me, get me a drink. Why is this door highlighted constantly? Interesting. Okay, 
Okay, so the drinks machine is out front down here, I think. Let that stamina come back. There you go, relax. Right, get your, get your coin out. Don't know where he is, don't know where he is, don't mind. That was the drink Zodiac water. Cool. Right, I'm missing one more clue. Right, off to a drink in the library. What am I missing? I'm missing something else. I've got two more keys. I've got a cloakroom key. Oh no, I've got just got a cloakroom. Oh no, cloakroom and a cafeteria key and the chisel. They have a half. Oh dear. They have to be somewhere over here because I didn't see any locked doors over the other side. Where's he going? Oh, he's going that way. Oh. Are any of these doors unlockable? No, no. That's just a classroom again. Shit, he's gonna come and see me. Better hide in the classroom. Oh! Peaked for just a little bit too long there. Come on. If he comes this way, I'm screwed because there's nowhere to go in here. Yeah. Oh! Oh no! He's coming in. He didn't come in! Oh my god. Idiot. <laughs> Could have had me then. Okay, where is the... Where is the cafeteria? Must be down there. Right, once he's buggered off, I'll go and check. I don't think I can go anywhere else. It's all walled off with these like gated doors. Where is he? I have no idea where he's gone. There he is. Right, cafeteria. Where the hell is the cafeteria? And the dean's office. Oh, he's come back. You know what? Screw it. I need to find out. Ah! Oh, shit. I, I ran out of stamina. And he stabbed me. Right in the heart. That's my complete and utter impatience kicking in there. I am a little stumped. So that was Zodiac who engraved this poem. He engraved it with a chisel. Of course he did. Set the chronology of events. Okay, hide and set the chronology of events. All right, so let's have a think about this. So he, I think he probably, he's outside there. So I'd assume he watched her first. Then, yeah, so he observes her through there because he's outside. Then he broke in. Then he engraved the poem and then he bought the drink to kind of offer her something. Yeah, that's right. Your father also waited for your mother, drunk. He used to give her something to drink first and then beat her senseless. Nasty. It was his favorite thing. Almost the same, like my favorite thing. Soon you'll see what I've done to Cherry. Remember about the cipher. It's here. Okay, so the cipher looks like it's going to be if... If the game shows you where the cipher is as he says it's here, then it looks like it's going to be... Um, near the locker. It's my best guess anyway. It was quite easy to find. Um, like when I saw it in the last level. It, it stands out. It's like a glowing set of letters. I reckon it's in her locker. Oh, I am dead wrong. This room then. 
No! Ah! Oh. Where could it be? Damn it. Right, he's all he's all the way down there, he's all the way down there. As it said it's here, he was like walking along around here. Alright, well it isn't there. It's gotta be in the library. Ah. Alright, run away, run away, run away. It's gotta be in the library. Come on! Let's find this bloody cipher. And then let's get out of here. Back to the real world. None of this dream world madness. Alright. Come on. It's gotta be in here somewhere. I don't I just guess there's no logic to where the cipher could be. You just need to find it. I can hear like sparkly noises, but I think that's part of the music. Uh, right, it isn't there. Oh, why do I struggle so much with finding these ciphers? I thought I'd found it then. I got all excited. I thought it was there, sparkling on the wall, but nope. That ain't it. Where could it be? There's not that many places in this, this university. It's basically just the library. Um, the classroom. Is that over there on that door? I can see it from here. It's over there on that door. Sparkling. That's fine. Let's just run straight across get it and hopefully he won't come walking a lot across the bloody courtyard if he does well, you know it's just just the way it is yeah it's on that door all right it's fine he's moving away from the door anyway oh no he's just patrolling near it oh what a knob okay he'll he'll eventually walk away he's got a Yeah, there it is, look. Right, he walks past, he's walking past. Where's he going? Where's he going? Oh my god, why is he coming this way? Walk away. I need to get to the cipher. Don't walk back to it. You absolute nightmare. Yeah, walk that way. That's the perfect... Yeah. No, don't stop there. That's it. That's it. Good. Good job, Mr. Serial Killer. Cipher. Get the cipher. Get the cipher. Get the cipher. Get the cipher. <gasps> yeah, screw you. I escaped. Oh, I hate him so much. It's probably the right reaction. You should hate serial killers. Hello. You're back. You seem disturbed. What did you see? I saw the blanket, which I still don't know what it does. Okay, so I was at Riverside College. I found Sherry's blanket. She wasn't cold anymore, and she thanked me. That's your subconscious speaking. What are you willing to do next? I want to solve the cipher. I can help Sherry. I know I'm capable of doing that. I understand. But how will you do that? If I complete the ritual correctly, I can stop Zodiac. Or at least interrupt him. Doing that, I can give Sherry comfort. And maybe even save her soul. It's maybe. a beautiful intention, Robert. Aren't you afraid that it is only your own imagination? No, I'm not. Because this is my chance to successfully finish this therapy. Thank you for your trust. Our session today is about to end. Close your eyes, and one last time, transport yourself to Riverside. Ten, 
Nine. Oh, I'm going again. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. I haven't even got pictures four, to choose from this time. Three. Two. One. Off I go. Sleepy time. My only real complaint about the game so far, or the only niggle I have, is that in these conversations with the therapist, the choices you make at the bottom don't match up at all to what you end up saying. Like right then, he said, um, aren't you scared that it's just your, your imagination? And my choices were, I am, no, and I'm fascinated. I said, I am, and he said, no. So I don't know if it's um, a glitch. I don't know if it's an issue with the game itself. Something's not working the way it should, but it feels like... Well, this is terrifying. Graveyard. It feels like those choices just don't link up at the moment. Um, so I wonder if it's just defaulting to the wrong choice, even though I'm telling it to pick a different one. Right, let's go up here before we go out and check the spooky graveyard. Okay, so I guess this is chapter three, maybe chapter four. Okay, nothing up there. Big old waste of time. Down again. I go. Oh, fell off. All right, no choice but to go into the graveyard, I guess. Uh, let's let's go. He's up. Really? He immediately saw me and came running in. I can't get over how much this music is just uh kind of a slight variation on the Stranger Things intro. <laughs> Go away. I like the um, injection of urgency and fear that he, he gives to the game. But I can certainly see the appeal of just playing the game in the story mode, which removes him and allows you to just explore and tackle the these events without the threat of him finding you. This area is big. What am I trying to do here? Right. Okay. This is where this is the high heeled shoe one. Okay. Um, Yeah, I do totally understand the appeal of just playing this game for the story because I, I enjoy the gameplay, I enjoy the story, I enjoy piecing together these these crime scenes. Um, and at times he's annoying. Like him him turning up annoys me. Fuck hell. Oh my god. This area is massive. These traces lead me somewhere. Right, footsteps, footsteps. Okay, here we go, here we go. I should follow those traces. Yeah. I don't know where they're going now. Are they going around here or are they going into the graveyard? I think they're going into the graveyard. Yeah, they are. Can't see anything obvious in here or maybe the footsteps are pointing the other way fuck looks like the footsteps are pointing this way but they might be going the other way alright okay ah, I'm in a tree alright get out of there Go out this way. The body must be somewhere here. There we go. Okay, I found that completely by accident. Oh, that's Sherry's body. I should take a closer look. All right, no shoe. Poor thing. She lost her shoe in the mud. All right, she got the other shoe. He's oh. brutally cut her throat. If I remember correctly. He's hidden the knife in a mailbox somewhere. Yes. Yes, he did. Let's go find the knife. Um, oh, watch. She fought until the end and ripped his watch off. I wonder where it is. Interesting. 
Um, can I look at her other hand? Nothing to check there. All right. Okay, so. Right, I need to find the mailbox where he's dashed the the knife. This area is big. There he is, look. A lot of places to hide, though, which is good. I can really slip away. I like how the game is making me go certain ways by placing really random objects in my way so I can't fully explore my surroundings. Um. What we got here? Is this his watch? Oh, yeah. Sherry tore this watch off of Zodiac's wrist. Man, she was fighting him for ages. So she's fighting him there. And then she died, like, all the way over there. He was chasing her around. Oh, he's close. There he is. Oh, I hate him. I hate him so much. The type of mud that I found on Cherry's shoe. She must have lost the other one nearby. Somewhere nearby, something horrible happened. There's the shoe. Yes. Well, I'm doing much better this time. Oh, I've jinxed myself. Something's going to go wrong now. That must be her shoe. Right. So she lost her shoe in the mud there. There's a knife in there. Oh, no, it's not. It's that. Lost her shoe in the mud there. Um... Fuck. Fought him off in there. Shit. Yeah, fought him off in there. Ran. Ended up dying here, just behind this fence. And then he went and stashed mailbox. Knife in the mailbox. Yeah, look. Blood. Not that one. Surely. Surely the knife will be in the mailbox. Surely that's the final. Oh, okay, there's a few more mailboxes. That one's got blood there in it. There are the mailboxes. The knife should be in one of them. <laughs> Why is it in the one without the blood? The postman who's delivering death. Right. That was way quicker than the last one. Right, hide and set the chronology of events. I already know the chronology. That's that's quite an easy one. Um, so she lost her shoe in the mud. She ripped off his. There you go. Ripped off his watch. He caught up to her, slit her throat, and then hit the Your knife. Your father had his moments. The walks, vision, like me when I took Cherry for a walk. But then she got afraid. Started to run away. Then I played with her. The knife, the screaming. I was so aroused. The cipher? The cipher is somewhere near. Oh my god, he's right there. Okay, the cipher could be bloody anywhere. This place is massive. Alright, keep my peepers peeled. I'm going to check the church first. Just because I'm working on this assumption that it didn't work last time. Um... But when you're watching the little cutscene and he says the cipher is somewhere near, um, he was going into the church at that point. So that will be my starting point. And then I will check other places. Keep my eyes peeled though. I don't even know where I am right now. Where am I? Oh, her body's there. I've got, I'm all turned around. Oh, I've gone back here. I think the church is this way. Yeah. Yeah, the church is this way. Oh, he's close. Because that just kicked off quite a lot then. There he is. Oh my god. Don't get stuck there. Fuck it. I bet he can't climb ladders. 
Right, I'm taking a punt on the fact that he won't be able to climb ladders. Yes, and that's where the cipher is. Oh, that was much smoother. Oh! Threw myself to my death, but I guess that woke me up. That was a much, much smoother one. Chapter 3, Ritual. So now I'm on Chapter 3. Okay, this game might be a bit longer than I thought. I am tired, but I hope this ritual works. I'll go back to the attic to do what I have to do and then go to sleep. Maybe tomorrow I'll wake up with one trouble less and the dreams about Sherry will finally end. Zodiac is a beast, but maybe, just maybe, I'll finally tame him. I love how moody the game is. Like, I love that simplistic art style, but it just looks great with the lighting. Alright. Back home. 